What is up my interwebby type people? Welcome to Shareware, back from its little hiatus, at least for one more. Now if you haven't seen me sit here and do this little spiel before, this is where I go to talk about what is new and great in the world of little gadgets and consumer electronics. And today the folks over at Archair, which I've shot a few videos for other Archair products, and I've been pretty surprised at what they've given me for the price point, this one right here being $20. Uh, what we are reviewing is the Archair A110, which I would consider a Bluetooth speaker for the thinking man. Now I say it's for the thinking man for two reasons. One, because at a price point of $20, it is economical for the wallet. And also I say it because it is definitely not a speaker for the music man. It's definitely more for the verbal side, I don't even say vocal, I say verbal side of the sound spectrum. This thing is great for audiobooks, uh, for documentary style movies or movies that don't require a lot of low end, uh, TV shows, it's great. This is for the person who needs a kickstand and an amplifying device for watching things on a smartphone or tablet. It's not for the person to leave it on a desk while they go about their business listening to music. It is not a music speaker. So I'm gonna get into that first. I know they say they want it to be, but for me it wasn't. And especially from Archer, they've sent me products in the same price point that were better at music, but I'll show you that in a little bit. Now while I open the box, I'll go ahead and read some of the little techie goodness for you. It says right on the back here, frequency response 200 to 18 thou. Now, headphones are usually 10 to 10 thou. This thing has a high, high end uh, frequency response and not a great low end. So you're getting absolutely no bass. Uh, we have output power 2.5 watts. So it's a 2.5 watt driver in here. Uh, it looks like it's about an inch wide driver. It's got a 500 milliamp hour battery, which for something this small, that'll definitely get you through a movie or a flight. It's got two inputs on it, a TF card and an auxiliary, which those two things, putting that on a box is like when you go by a hotel and it says we have free Wi-Fi. If that's their claim to fame, then it's probably not gonna be that great of a hotel. So by this thing telling you, hey, we've got an auxiliary port and a TF card reader, you know what you're in for. But let's go ahead and open it up anyways. Inside you got your charging cord, looks like micro USB. Uh, you also get the claim to fame auxiliary cord as they stated on the box. Dun, 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 fat fingers and cardboard don't mix. Fat fingers and cardboard don't mix. Okay, so here it is inside this little box. It's like boxception here. And here it is. Now this thing really is, it's attractive. This is an attractive looking speaker. It reminds me of the old style kind of 1920s uh, speakers where it's got the aluminum mesh. This is like my favorite part of any electronic. Anytime they put the sticky clear plastic that you get to peel off, it's so damn satisfying. So this thing looks great. It looks expensive. It doesn't look $20. It's got a little kickstand on the back that you can flip out and then it'll stand on its own. Let's get it standing. Looks great. These little rubber things, I'll show you in a bit. They will keep it in place, but it still kind of bounces all over if you try to play music. Basically for the value on this one, what you're getting is if you are into audiobooks, if that's your game when you're at work on your desk, this will work great for you. Uh, it also just looks clean. If you've got a sophisticated looking desk setup, this thing would fit in perfectly and for a really reasonable price. So here it is compared to the iPhone 7 Plus. It is quite a bit smaller. I can eclipse it completely. Uh, so it is, it's small, it's portable. It can fit in a pocket. It almost, it's the shape of a cell phone. So you got one in one pocket, one in the other, and you're golden. One of the other issues that I seem to have with it is the fact that you cannot discreetly turn it on. It is the loudest speaker I own as far as turning it on, which is hilarious because it's a 2.5 watt speaker, which I believe is the smallest speaker that I currently have in my possession and second smallest that I've ever reviewed on the channel. But for some reason, they crank this thing up to 10 to turn it on. And it kind of reminds me of like old school Motorola phones where it makes you do this whole like spiel before you even get into the product. Pairing mode. 
the whole thing reminds me for device to connect. I'm coming, I'm coming. It reminds me of a, uh, of like a Boost Mobile commercial, is what it sounds like when it kicks on. As soon as the light in the bedroom went out, there was a stirring and a fluttering all through the farm buildings. Word had gone round during the day that old Major, the prize middle white boar, had had a strange dream on the previous night and wished to communicate it to the other animals. And for the rest of the Christmas holidays, the invisibility cloak stayed folded at the bottom of his trunk. Harry wished he could forget what he'd seen in the mirror as easily, but he couldn't. He started having nightmares. Over and over again, he dreamed about his parents disappearing in a flash of green light while a high voice cackled with laughter. So you kind of get the idea there as far as like audiobooks go. Uh, it is a clear sound. It does kind of get muffled and tinny uh, behind this. I believe maybe the driver inside is actually resonating against the metal casing on the outside. We have had cheaper Bluetooth speakers on this channel do that before. Uh, the Omaker M5 did that and I actually ended up drilling holes in the back to kind of relieve some of that pressure. Uh, but I kind of think that's what's going on here and why you cannot run a deeper bass style music. Uh, but let's go ahead and find us some music so that way we can test it out. So this is as loud as you can go without hearing that resonating, which is actually quieter than my talking voice. If I crank it up, you'll start to hear it kind of vibrate against the metallic casing, uh, but I'll go ahead and kick it up. This is three quarter volume. Full volume. So is it the best sounding Bluetooth speaker we've ever had on the channel? Absolutely not. Is it the best sounding Bluetooth speaker for $20 that I've ever had on the channel? No. Is it the best looking Bluetooth speaker in the price point that I've ever had on the channel? Yes. And uh, I stand by that. Another thing that it could be, you hear that? Something in there is loose. So maybe in a second video, I'll climb inside this thing and see exactly what is loose and if I can tighten that down and maybe improve sound. Uh, but, I mean, you are getting what you pay for when you spend $20 on something that looks like this. You're not getting the cheap hokey plastic on the outside. And that could affect the internal electronics. A lot of times, I would rather get the cheapo, the cheapo plastic uh, headphones if I know that they spent most of the money on them on the drivers. Uh, kind of like what Blue Dio has done for the turbines because I absolutely love the way those headphones sound But they are probably the cheapest exteriorly made headphone I've ever had uh, But for something like this if you want something that looks good, you don't necessarily need to play music You just need it to amplify something you're listening to verbally not even vocally This is probably the way to go the Archer a110 anyways guys that is it for this one uh, Go ahead and like this video. Maybe share it if you're feeling frisky Anyways, love you all. Deuces, kitties.